You got a lollipop? Is it me or is it everything that goes seals is super hard? Points for you guys. Screenshot it. So I am mixing up my pre-workout at home for once. I went to the campus early, got some work done, got my hair cut, came back here. Yeah? And if you haven't had Ghost Legend, check that out. Scoop is always on the top. Keeping Scoop. Scoop of size because this is now my creatine on the daily. The one thing that I don't like about it is I, on my days off, on rest days when I don't train, I forget to take it. It's happened a couple times. I don't like mixing it in anything else but my pre workout. You can take it anytime throughout the day. Sipping on my pre-workout, headed to the gym. Reminds me of my commercial gym days. Turning on my my, my pump up music <laughs> before headed into the gym. It's crazy how things just change. Life is so different. Always trying to be appreciative, grateful. Gratitude goes a long way, guys. Always remember where you came from but never settle, never, never, never be comfortable. Keep, keep wanting more. Keep grinding. Yeah, I never thought I would, you know, be driving to my own gym, have, have members there, you know, have play, have people come visit from out of town, out of, out of the country. It's just, uh, it's a crazy feeling. It wouldn't be anything without all you guys, all the support that I have out there throughout the years. So for that, I love you guys, and I'm grateful for you, the support, and I hope you guys are the best. I hope you guys learned something from me, from this channel, all my social media platforms, content that I put out. It, it, it gets tough. It, it's tough over the years. I've been on the social media thing since like 2010, 2011, and after a while, the, the content that you put out, the information you put out, it just feels like you're just you're doing the same same stuff right it, it's you got to stay on top of things you got to stay creative and, and I'm on and off about that and a lot of times I feel like I feel like you guys know everything I've said it so I've gone through information and content so much throughout the years that I feel like everybody knows what I'm talking about and I don't need to talk about that information I don't need to educate as much, but but I'm wrong. I'm very wrong because I get new followers. I need I get new subscribers every day. I lose subscribers. It, it, it's a never-ending cycle. But I forget that it is. It's smart to recycle information because new people are are coming through the channel, coming through my my social media pages. That I need to do that, but put a different twist on it keep moving with time anyways push workout today this is our first week on the new split push pull legs push pull or I'm not sorry push legs pull push legs pull it's uh, our hyper day today for, for push I'm so used to push pull legs but I was kind of I was liking that upper lower push pull legs that we were running for a while it was a nice change up but the upper and lower days just seem so long. Now, six days a week, push pull legs. The time in the gym, I feel like we get more done. Today, I'm gonna gear today's workout towards more like a, a tips and tricks portion. Everything push. So we're gonna do bench, dumbbell incline. We're gonna do some uh, seated shoulder press, dumbbell press. Some lateral raises, 
and then a couple of tricep movements. Start with bench. Everyone's setup is going to be different based on your body, your shoulders, your, your mobility. Whatever's more comfortable for you, where you feel strongest, you have the best leverage, go for that. Don't listen to any anybody out there that says this is the, the, the only way, this is the best way. This is There's no one way. When I give you guys tips and tricks like this, this is just from my own experience. I'm not saying my way is the best way, it's the only way, but here you go. Tip number one, hand placement. Find, this is where I'm at. Find the, the, the width that has you lined up, wrist to elbow. So you don't wanna to be too far out, you don't wanna to be too far in. You want your elbows underneath your wrist. You're gonna have better leverage. And that's gonna vary based on your arm length, and your, your amount of tuck that you throw in as you're descending. Second tip is your wrist. You want your wrist nice and straight. You don't want it like this, okay? So mess with where you place the bar in your hand. I'm right there. The wrist should be nice and straight like this, not like this. If you find that it's hard for you to keep straight, most likely your your grip, your forearms are lacking strength. So trick is don't use don't use straps. We haven't been using straps. How long has it been? Like three months? Probably longer than that. Six months, something like that. We at first we were like, oh man, we can't bench without straps, and we've been doing it for a while now, and it feels great. My, I feel like my grip, my forearms are a lot stronger. Stability's there. It's easier to stay straight. In the beginning, it was hard. Like my wrists were coming back like this. Look at them XLs, and these are still, still tight. It's a struggle to get them on. I can't get them on by myself. <laughs> I need these guys always to help me. One more tip for the bench press. Breathing. If you're not breathing right, you gotta get your, your breathing down. It'll help improve your bench and it will keep your, your spine, your, your, your core safe. The whole goal throughout your, your, your movements is to stay tight, right? You never wanna lose tightness. You wanna protect yourself, you wanna brace yourself. When I say brace yourself, you're taking a deep breath you're creating pressure in your core area and you're keeping that pressure there until you're at the top. I'm gonna start here. Let my breath go at the top. So here we go. Each rep, you can do a couple if you have your breathing down. You can do a couple reps and then take a breath at the top and reset. So that, the breathing, by salvo maneuver, by salvo maneuver is that breathing technique. And if you're not doing that already, like I said, learn it. It will help you lift so much. This is how I like to explain it to people, is if your car dies and you're uphill, and you need to push it up the hill, right? So you're, you're, you put it in neutral, and you're gonna push. How are you gonna breathe while you're pushing? You're not gonna, right? You're gonna, to have maximum force. That's what your breathing should be when you're lifting. We're gonna put on some old Lincoln Park for this workout. Hybrid theory help. Let's play it all.
set on my one rep max, goal is 15. Struggle's real today, huh? I think it's my forearms. And it doesn't help that I'm already got a pump going. Oh! Ah! Woo! <laughs> that was process. You play that party, you know. Oh, this song. This song is definitely gonna get flagged for copyright. I gotta splice the hell out of this. So those jump cuts, the vlogger cuts, so the music in the background will not get flagged. Lincoln Park, flagged every time. question that I get on the daily. Count your macros, folks. Next movement, dumbbell incline. Trick here is to get your tuck in a good place where your shoulders feel comfortable, nice and protected. So you don't want to be flared out too much. You don't want to be flared out here. But then again, you don't want to be over tucked and you're too close. Find your nice sweet spot in the middle. What I like to do is I, I, I don't press straight. My, I don't keep the bar straight. I have, a, I have it at a slight angle. And with that, I feel like I get more, more focus on my chest versus you know, my arms. Just more tension on my upper chest. Oh. You want control. You want to control your eccentric just as much as you're focused on your, 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 your contraction. So control it down. Dumbbell shoulder press, same thing as you are doing when you're you're doing any other dumbbell pressing. Tuck your elbows to the point where you're protecting your shoulders. You'll know the difference. Don't have them flared out too much, or it's gonna put a lot of strain on your shoulders. Which is what I used to do 
back in the day, hey, back here, flared out. I could not get, all I did was go 90 right here. And I consider that a full rep. Now, these days I'm tucked in a little bit and I'm touching the dumbbell on my shoulder. And that's, that's where I consider full range of motion for me. And I've slowly worked my way to that, that, that range of motion. My mobility wasn't always there because of bad form, bad shoulders. Finish off shoulders with a superset, dumbbell laterals, two Riddell flies. Alright, trick for side laterals. I know it's a very awkward movement, it's hard to get down. It's hard to actually feel it in your shoulders. My main thing is have a slight bend forward. Just like that. And then drive with your elbows. Try to get your elbows up before your hands. Your hands should be below your elbows. And you can keep your wrists nice and pitched there. You don't gotta be moving around. I stay right here. Aesthetic man. Don't make me laugh. Oh. Is it two days in a row? Mm -hmm. Three days in a row. Three days in a row. Waba chicken plate. It's easy and it's satisfying. Especially with the broccoli. I used to get the kale, but the kale was not very good on volume. Are we watching? Although he had everything his heart desired. You go, I go, you stay, I stay, one song, you sing.